I'd like to please welcome to the stage um, a personal hero. Um, he's been a leader in Congress. In fact, if you look around this building, this is one of the buildings in Washington that he helped save as a member of Congress. He served two presidents, President Clinton and President Bush, as a cabinet secretary with great distinction. Ladies and gentlemen, our gala 2009 co-chair, the Honorable Norm Mineta. Uh, thank you very much for your very generous and kind uh, introduction. My wife, Denny, and I are very, very proud to be with you all this evening. And we wish to thank our dinner co-chair for uh, their support of this evening's event, and that is Bill and Lisa Ford, Jr. So let's say thanks to... Bill and Lisa Ford. An important new initiative that we have established this year is our partnership with the Center for Global Understanding. CFGU is a California-based nonprofit that works to bridge the divide between America's Muslim and non-Muslim communities. In the late 1980s, Munir's son, Atif, was born with late-stage cancer of the sp uh, spinal cord and given very little chance of uh, survival. Now, what planted the seed that grew into CFGU was a team of doctors, some Americans, some from India, some Christians, some Jews, and a Muslim who worked together to save Atif's life. This summer, we welcomed the first contingent, 11 extremely impressive young Muslim Americans from across the country. They learned and thrived here, and they also enriched our program. Please join me in recognizing Munir Moon and the Center for Global Understanding. Munir, would you please stand? <laughs> 